Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation. This is episode three of the GHL versus Apex series. In this episode, I'm gonna go over the initial setup of both the GHL and the Apex. So first we're gonna do the GHL. So let's get started with the GHL. So as you can see, I already plugged in the PAB cable from the power block to the back here. I'm now gonna power it up with the power, which I have plugged into the wall. So we'll also switch on the power block, power bar. So right off the bat, I can see the GHL lights up, which is really cool. Um, that LED on top uh, is pretty slick. And then we got the display, which is starting up. So we'll give that some time. That's the basic setup for it and the basic plugin for the GHL. So now let's move on to the Apex. Okay, so when we get the Apex going, this is what it looks like. We have uh, the USB, which powers the Apex brain, similar to the PAB with the exception of power. You can see you can plug it into any USB. Um, both units have the indication light to tell you what's going on. So this one is blue, which means we haven't got it configured yet, and um, orange means that it's connected to the base station. Um, I do notice right off the bat that Apex enables some of the outlets right out of the box. So with the GHL, they don't enable any of the outlets um, when you first plug it in. This one automatically enables three, four, five, six, and seven when you first plug it in, and one and two and eight are not enabled. So when you first set up an Apex, make sure you don't have um, pumps and so forth plugged into it right off the bat because those are going to turn right on when you plug this thing in. So just be careful uh, when you first do the Apex setup. So now we're going to move on to setting up the apps for both of them. We're going to start with GHL first. Okay, so we're going to start with the GHL setup on my iPhone 11. The same setup is done through the Android. So you're going to go to your app store and you're going to go to GHL Connect and open it up. You're going to need to make an account with MyGHL.com, which I recommend you doing on the computer. Once you've signed into your account here, you're going to see My Devices. We're going to say Add Device. We're going to go to Provolux 4. We're going to say New Configuration. And then we're going to say Activate Access Point Mode. Now, when you first plug this guy in, it's going to activate Access Point Mode. If you're not in Access Point Mode, when you go to your Wi-Fi settings on the next setup, if you don't see GHL here, you need to unplug it and plug it back in. Now, once you've got that, you're going to connect to it. The password is Starfish with a capital S. That'll get you into the GHL. Once you get a check mark next to the GHL, you'll go back. And unfortunately, this is where I started to have some issues. When I try to go to next, it says connection error. Now, from what GHL is telling me, this is an iPhone-related issue. On Android, this doesn't happen. So if you're getting to this point, you have connection error, you need to go back, back, and add a configured device. Don't change this. This is the host name and pass uh, port of the unit. You can change this in the network settings after you're done. Hit next. We'll call this Reef. That's going to be the name of the GHL. Once you do that, you should get a little yellow light on the front of your GHL to indicate that it is communicating and connecting to your phone. So now what it's trying to basically do is connect to the internet, which it can't do because we haven't connected it to the network in the house. So this is basically trying to connect. So once you get to this point, you're going to say continue offline. And the reason we're doing that is because we have to directly connect to it because my iPhone is having a difficult time getting onto the unit itself. So what you then do is now we're connected directly to the unit itself. So you're going to want to hit the three little lines at the top that'll get you to the setup. You're going to want to go to system and I've already done this, but you're going to want to go to my GHL and make sure that it is enabled full access read and write. You're going to go back. You're going to go to network. And then this is where you set up your access point and your client. Now the client is going to be what your Wi-Fi is in your home that it's going to connect to. You're going to want to put in your SSID and you're going to want to put in your Wi-Fi key. Now here's the important part. Now since I had to go through the manual way of doing this instead of it being automatic, I'm going to want to change the IP address here. And the reason I want to 
change the IP addresses so I can remember what it is. Otherwise, you're going to have to do an IP scan or hook the unit up via USB to figure out what your IP is. Um, you can also find out your IP on the front display, I believe. So this is where you would want to enter it. So I'm going to enter my IP, and I'm going to make this 97 because 97 is not being used by anything else. You're going to want to make sure that nothing else is on that IP address. My default gateway, and then my DNS server. I just use the Google DNS server, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 so once that's all connected, I now know that my IP address is going to be 97. You can see at the top that it says current IP address is 103 because I had already set this up earlier, but you're going to need to do this. You're going to want to set your admin password if you wish. You're going to say save. And once you apply the settings, you're going to no longer be able to connect to your unit because now you need to go back into here and you need to set this to the new IP that you made, which is going to be, in my case, 97. So I'm going to connect, and there we go. We're back to the dashboard. So we're still connected uh, via local. So we want to be connected to the cloud so that way you don't have to be on your Wi-Fi in your house in order to connect to the system. So this takes a couple steps, and I'll show you what you're going to need to do. You're going to want to go back to System. Okay, so you're going to click on this. You're going to say Add My Device to My GHL. Okay, so we'll go back. We'll go back to our dashboard, and in order to check this, we're going to actually go to Disconnect. And you'll see where it says My GHL Devices, and it says Local Devices. You can go ahead and delete the local device and just use the My GHL device now. And now you can connect to it anywhere at any point. And that's basically how you get everything going with GHL. And now we're going to move on to the APEC setup. Okay, so similar to GHL, you're going to go on your app store and you're going to look for Apex Fusion. Okay, you're going to click on Apex Fusion, and very similar to that of GHL, you're going to need to create an account. Now, I already have an Apex system in my home, so this is going to be an additional Apex that we're setting up. So you'll notice that I have Face ID. Um, it will populate right away with the Face ID if you use Face ID on an iPhone, but you can... Of course, just use username and password, which you need to go and set up on the Fusion similar to the MyGHL. You're going to click on the little link token. It looks kind of like uh, chain links. You're going to click on that. You're going to name it something, so I'll name it Reef. I'll name it 100. So now it asks you, do you want to set up a specific Apex? For this, we're going to set up an Apex EL. For this, we're going to connect using Wi-Fi similar to that of the GHL. Now this is a little setup video that it's going to show you. We're going to skip that for this, which I've already showed you. And then you're going to look at it and it asks you, do you see a blue logo or do you not see a blue logo? We did see a blue logo. So now we're going to go ahead and scan the label. Okay, so we've scanned the label. We'll say join. Now it's going to ask you what Wi-Fi network you want to use. So we'll say continue. It'll ask you what your Wi-Fi password is. Pop that in there. So it's configuring now. Now what's nice about the Apex is it's going to automatically connect to the cloud service for you. You don't have to do any type of linking. It's automatic with their new software. From my understanding, GHL will be doing the same thing, but the time at this video, only Apex does this. And there we go. So now if I go to my list, I see Reef and my normal tank. And now we can click on it, and there's all of the programming for the Apex. So well, that's the initial setup of both systems. So you'll notice that the GHL is in German, and you can change the German display via the setup, which we're going to go through in the next video, which is setting up all the basic stuff on both systems. When you're online, you're going to get an orange light on the Apex, and you're going to get a green light right here to indicate that it's on the Wi-Fi. 
You'll notice we have alarms and the GHL is flashing because we don't have any of the probes or anything hooked into it yet. But currently we have both set up, ready to go on the cloud, ready to be programmed. And in our next video, we're gonna go over the basics and setting up both of these units. As I said before, when you first plug these in, the Apex has a few outlets already on, whereas the GHL does not. So you can plug in just about anything into the GHL without having to worry about them being turned on. And you can figure that out by looking at it. You'll see that none of the LEDs are on here on the side. Whereas on the Apex, we have six out of the eight outlets on. So just be aware of that. So thank you for watching this video. And we're going to continue on with episode four which is going to go over the setup of both devices in the programming modes. And then as we continue, we're gonna go over some more advanced programming and some safety features of both units. Thank you for watching, and if you liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button. You can view all of the videos here. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day.